It can seem really obvious that as an employer, of course you care about your employees, right? You want them to be well, to do well, and there's lots of other reasons why caring for your employees is a good idea too. I like to actually use that acronym for caring to give instruction to organizations about how they can actually take that feeling of caring and that sense of caring they have and turn it into practical strategies for working with their, uh, their workforce. So we use the letters of care to describe four important elements for organizations and how to pick care for their employees. The first one is communicate. The C is for communicate. Have a really good communication plan. Plan for how you're gonna stay in touch with your employees if they do leave the workforce. So everyone in the workplace knows to expect that they're going to be contacted. Stay in touch with them, don't let them be alienated. The A is for accommodate. And while that might seem like a simple instruction, accommodate when someone needs it, it's true. But accommodate can go much farther than that. I like to think that accommodation starts well before there's any health issue in the workplace. It really is about understanding the unique needs of your workforce. And it could be accommodating for a health issue. It could be accommodating for a special family issue or a religious need that someone could have. But accommodation doesn't have to start when the person leaves the workplace or isn't able to be there. Start the process early. The R in the care model is for return to work planning. Yes, it's absolutely important to have a return to work policy in place. Make sure everybody in your workforce knows that there's a, a, an approach and also a strategy and steps to take to help them get re-engaged back in the workplace. But the R is also for review. So once you have an employee who's engaged in that return to work process, or maybe they've even re finished re their return to work program, don't stop there. Don't forget to review and reassess. Make sure that they're doing well in the workplace as well. The E in the care model is for expertise. You don't have to know everything about disability management. Don't be afraid to ask for help. You might need experts who, um, maybe you need a legal opinion about a situation that you have where you have questions. Maybe you would like the assistance of an occupational health consultant to help you organize the way your programs are run or help you with a particularly sensitive case or employee with a sensitive health issue that you want them to have more support. Or maybe it's about reaching out to your employee assistance program. They're there to help support you as well and they have expertise in mental health and can help you care for your employees. Above all though, just care for them. <laughs>